Hey, to me, Raj Baden here for Subbish Radio, uh, 12 6 a.m. online at subbishradio.com and through your mobile app. Now, over the last couple of days, as you know, there's been a story that's been making the headlines and it's one of those uh, Dil Torne Wali Baat, yeah? uh, a TV show going off here with the popularity that it has seen over the last, what, uh, 18 months or so. I'm talking about Yerish Tepiarke, which will be uh, going off air very, very soon. And I've got the lead actor, a friend of mine, who I always love talking to you know he is it is uh, Shahid Sheikh from the show Yiddish Tape Yard get a beat from that show so let's say hi to Shahid hi Shahid hi Raj I really like that uh, <laughs> what you said introduction <laughs> it is it is Yard I mean come on do you know how many fans have been messing me over the weekend they have not they can't believe it Yard it's not it's not sung through okay, the show is going off air I mean how are you feeling about it uh Honestly, it was a surprise for us as well. And uh, of course, we have, we have, I've been playing this character for so long. We are doing this show for almost one and a half year now. And uh, even I am so attached to Abir and all the characters of the show. So yeah, it's still torne wali baat to hai. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm saying though. And can I just say, the other Dil Torne Wali Baat is that we haven't spoken in such a long time. And I don't know why we always say we're going to be talking a lot more often. And it's a bit of You get, you know, it's always a year, two years. It's always that kind of time. Why is it always the case with me? It's only when my show is going off air or a new show is coming. <laughs> That's when you call me. <laughs> know. Yeah, no, I didn't message you. I didn't message you about six months ago. I wanted yes, to talk to you. you. Did. <laughs> Yes, uh, you did. But, you know, doing a daily soap is very hectic, yeah. But, like, to balance your personal life and work for a daily soap actor, it's, it's a little challenging. So, in all that, I'm sorry, I might have, you know, uh, not responded uh, yeah. every time, yeah. Shahid, yeah, no, no, that. no, no. Don't, don't apologize. All I want to say is that there's been a lot of fans that have been, uh, you know, heartbroken from the news that, you know, Yerush Day is coming to an end. And every time when I read your interview, Shahid, one thing I noticed is well, how close this show was to you. I mean, from all the shows that you have done, you've always praised all your shows, but this one a little bit more. I mean, what was it about Abid's character and what was it about being in Yerush Day that was so kind of closely attached to you? Ah. Uh. I think uh, this is the first time I was myself. <laughs> I got to be myself in front of the camera. And uh, I had decided that I'll not uh, prepare for this show. And because this character is so much like me, I'll just be myself. And uh, playing the character, I enjoyed so much. I had so much fun because he's a light-hearted guy who would just crack jokes, have fun, do all the crazy things, support his friends. Is there for his loved ones. So it was a pleasure. I mean, I I really enjoyed coming to the sets every day. I, I used to look forward to coming to the sets and be a beast. Oh, yeah. that's that's And that's what it fans can miss. Yeah. Yeah, it was less like work and it was more, more fun. Oh. And the family as well, because you've got an amazing team of people that you're working with, um, you know, coming in every day and working with those people. Of course, of course. There are so many talented people. Apart from that, when you are working together for so long, you like shoot every single day almost, and uh, it becomes like a family. It, it, like you forget. Sometimes I would forget that I'm Shahid as well. I would just be a beast. And uh, when you're on the sets every day, you you feel like that. You know, these are your family members. Mm. Oh. So now, um, what, what is it? I mean, what's going to happen? I mean, how are we going to... There's so many kind of storylines that are running at the moment. I mean, how are they all going to get wrapped up? See, I'm not sure about anything. This is what I've learned in the past, that you never know what's going to happen in the future. Uh, I remember something like this happening to Navya as well. Yeah. It's, it's 10 years back. And then how things just suddenly changed. Mm. So you never know. I, I can't really comment. But uh, I know, I, I believe in uh, Sergeant Sir and the production house, the entire team, uh, the creative team and the writers, mm-hmm. that uh, they will, if it's ending, they will culminate it uh, in a very nice uh, way, well-planned way.
Mm-hmm. Um, you, you know, we, we spoke about the character of a bee quite a lot. I just wanted to know from you, if, uh, say, you were in the producer's shoes and if you could kind of take the character to a completely different kind of avatar and different kind of route altogether, what would you do with a bee's character? No, I don't know. I, I really like the character. See, I feel our society needs people like a bee. Mm-hmm. Uh, how he would always stand up right? how he would uh, always stand up mm-hmm. and uh, the, always support Mishti support the loved ones and he actually does exactly if I'm Mishti yep, yep, yep. what it's like actually and uh, I, I really like his attitude the whole Banjara attitude and what all he used to do uh, how we would travel, help people, and uh, I think you know, being being in this field, I I, have, I think I've spoken to you about this before also. Uh, it's a responsibility. It's our responsibility mm-hmm. to give the right message, and he was giving the right messages. I I'm really I really like that fact. I would not want to change. Mm-hmm. And what about in terms of storylines? I mean, there's been quite a few storylines over uh, over the last uh, 18 months or so uh, since the show has been on air. Which has been the kind of standout for you? Which has been your favourite part element? I mean, I, I know it's going to be difficult for you to choose, but has there been one kind of like high point of the show that you really enjoyed? So the beginning of the show was really good. I really enjoyed that. But uh, the other part which got me really excited was post-sleep uh, when... Uh, Abhi would always be wearing his shades and try to hide his emotions and we we had so much fun because it was so different from what Abhi was before. Uh, it was quite exciting for me because uh, I was getting to do something different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, Abhi, we used to yeah. call it the Be Khayali phase because my sir, uh, the director, would always play Be Khayali in the background whenever, <laughs> uh, you know, he's taking my walk in that slow-mo and I'm wearing my shades <laughs> or taking all my shades and I'm teary-eyed and all that stuff. So it was really good oh. and fun. And we have to talk about uh, Ria because there's obviously a lot of fans that just love you guys together. I mean, Mishbeed. Uh, and there's something about you, Shahid. Every time a, a show comes to an end, there's always this kind of chemistry that you've left with your co-star and that everybody wants to see you guys together again. And that same is happening with you and Ria. What would you say about working with Ria and this kind of Mishbeed that people have created? So uh, I, I, had, I had a blast, honestly. And uh, because... She is in real life also that innocence on her face and uh, the way she talks. Uh, it you can see that in the character as well uh, how she portrays Mishti uh, and uh, the, the, all the scenes were very you know everything happened very smooth. There was no extra effort put in. There was uh, no problem as such ever. Otherwise, generally when a show starts, everyone is very part- particular about we want this, we want that, we want. Uh, you know, the look of the show like this, we want their chemistry like this, we want her to talk like this, we want him to speak like this. Nothing like that happened. Every, nothing like that happened. Everything was just right there on spot. Mm-hmm. So I, I think just because the whole ensemble cast is amazing, uh, everyone. Mm-hmm. But uh, of course, I have, most of my scenes were with Nishti. So again, it was very uh, raw, real chemistry. Mm-hmm. Uh, not real, the raw and <laughs> uh, how do I say it? What, what do I say? Um, like, did, it, did, it didn't look artificial. Very natural, yeah? Yeah, natural. Completely. Um, Shahid, I mean, if you were to kind of blame um, the show going off here on particular, I don't know, the way things are, is it? Would you blame it on the the time slot? Would you blame it on the, the COVID situation uh, during the lockdown and audiences kind of swayed? What would you say? I mean, what would you kind of blame the situation on? Because it's come out of the blue. No, I would not uh, blame anything for this situation, but uh, uh, it was kind of something which was going to happen uh, because the ratings were slightly low, and that's why I always request the viewers to watch uh, good good stuff on TV. So mm. that, you know, we, we get now that we can make better shows, yeah. uh, content-driven shows is uh, what I would want to be a part of and uh, I hope producers keep making such shows. Indeed, I agree. And do you know what the fans have been talking about? Uh, obviously, you're talking about the changing ways of television and moving on to digital. Yes. Fans want to know about you know whether you would uh, consider doing any digital projects and doing anything online because it's the way forward, isn't it? Why not? 
Shahid, your line seems to be breaking. Sorry, I think you have to move to a different place. One sec, one sec. Uh-huh. So, can you hear me now? Much better, much better. Okay. So, I'm saying that, uh, of course, why not? I would love to. And, uh, you know, if uh, whenever there is something which is exciting and uh, comes my way, I would definitely like to take it up on digital as well. Why? Mm-hmm. Have you been approached for anything? Uh, anything that's kind of, uh, I don't know, touched you yet in terms of scripts? Yes, we. I am talking to a few people uh, for uh, for digital shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, once something is finalized, you will know definitely. Cool. And uh, there's a couple of questions uh, from the fans. Uh, there's one to do with your look. I mean, uh, there's always this baalon ki baat hoti na about your hair. Uh, <laughs> and uh, fans are also asking which kind of look did you enjoy the most? Uh, was it at the beginning of the show uh, or now, um, as you are in a bead? People, I believe, love. the long hair look because yeah. a lot of people have asked me to get back to that look <laughs> so i will be doing that most of the i recently asked that on my social media also that what should i do because this is the point when i have to decide long hair or short hair so <laughs> let me know most probably i'll be going for the long hair look again i th- i th- i prefer the short look i don't know why i think you look so much more younger as well i i like that personally even i like that uh, it it First of all, I don't really have to look into the mirror every now and then <laughs> yeah. to make sure that my hair is not all over the place because it's difficult to manage long hair. So it's easier for me. I think that's why I like short hair. But uh, yeah, a lot of people have requested me to get back to long hair. So yeah, maybe I will. Okay. Maybe and and uh, a question also from Prachi asking, what is your favorite Abid dialogue? Is there one particular standout dialogue for you? Ah, uh, during that same Bekha Ali uh, phase, he would say everything is awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I nice. guess that one. Nice. And uh, there's also a question here. Um, oh, huh. I wanted to ask you, actually, Shuhi, um, if, uh, you know, if you were to kind of, say, explore a particular storyline uh, of, say, Abid's character in the show, which one would you focus on a little bit more? If you say you had another two months, three months of the show left, if you had the opportunity as a producer, which element or which part of sh- uh, Abid would you like to focus on? So, uh, I didn't really... Uh get the chance to uh, see another layer to Abir and Kunal's relationship. Mhm. You can hear me? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So, but yeah, maybe they were always like there for each other, supporting each other. Um I I never saw any uh you know non-agreement or rift between them. Uh so yeah, we could have added another layer to that equation. That's good. Them. That's good to know. Right, some random questions here. Um Shahid just want to ask you um there's a fan uh, request saying can you please get Shahid to sing a song for us? Shall we do Bay Khayali sing as you're talking about that so much? <laughs> Bay Khayali. I think we should really, can we? <laughs> I won't be able to do that. <laughs> you know you can I can I can strum a fake guitar and you can sing. I don't mind. <laughs> do the whole rock star thing, no, can I? No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, you know I'm bad at singing. Uh, oh, okay, no, we're not going to embarrass you. Okay, so um, just a couple of other questions here before you go. Um, uh, but can I be honest? You know, when you talk about this serious element, because I know there's fans uh, who are, you know, disturbing things that we're hearing about fans who are who are harming themselves and you know taking the news of Yerush there, taking it quite seriously in terms of obviously you know affecting their own health. What would you like to say to those fans? And uh, obviously, we need to get them to stop doing such silly things. Yeah, I, I would. just want to tell them that guys um, we don't know really what the future holds so be hopeful we might come up with a better show we might come up with uh, season 2 you never know uh, so yeah be hopeful yeah and uh, yeah th- see i i feel there is a lot of uh, a lot of things are happening in the world we are already we go through every day uh, so many bad news negativity try try to uh, give out uh, good vibes positivity happiness and uh, spread it as much as you can I agree. No, completely I agree. Uh, Shahid, there's also a question here. Uh, Shahid has Abid had a lot of impact on many lives and he indeed changed the perception towards life in such a positive and realistic way. How much did Abid impact Shahid as a person and what was the ultimate thing you have learned from playing Abid? So as I told you a lot of things uh, things are being believed in I believe in all that too and uh, I stand up for all those things uh, I truly feel that every person uh, 
uh, has the right to live their own life their way. Uh, everyone has, every person has the right to equality. So, uh, irrespective of gender, uh, community, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I'm glad that I got the opportunity to express. It is almost like expressing myself. Uh, and uh, one thing I learned from it was l- learned from him was patience. Mm. Uh, and uh, this character, character, how things can be really tricky between you know relatives, relationships, and you need to be very patient. In mm. life. It is true. Um, and also, seeing as we're coming to the end of this interview, Shahira, do you want to ask you, I know how much you love your share of Shari, and you did the share of Shari with me last time when you were with me. Um, is there a particular uh-huh. a line that kind of sums your mood at the moment? I mean, Gonsi loves our bull and Jai Engage, or, you know, I would like to know myself as well. Your, your feeling inside at the moment with some share of Shari? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, um, maybe, maybe, you know, uh, I can't think of anything right now, but... Uh, Maybe by tonight I will tweet <laughs> about it and tag you in it as well. You better. So you, you, be. Shahid, if you do that, yeah, uh, you know what? I'll be really happy because I think I would like to know the kind of feeling you're going through at the moment because, yes. uh, you know, you yes. have this happiness, but at the same time, obviously, uh, you know, a journey coming oh, to an oh. end with Yerish there. But uh, yeah. Shahid, I'm not going to take any more of your time. I just want to say thank you so, so much for your time today. I know you're a busy guy. I know you've got lots going on. And I just want to no, wish no, you no. all the best, Shahid. And uh, when you got longer, but next time, we're not going to keep it a year. We'll talk longer next time. All right. Yes, hopefully soon. Tikkun, yeah. you, sh- you take care of yourself. Thank yeah. you. And what would you like to say? Any kuch final words for all your fans that are listening? Kuch uh, last baat bol do. Last baat. Uh, try whatever you want to do. Express yourself, but be polite. Yeah. Okay. Whenever, uh, just make sure that you're not hurting anyone. Social media has become very toxic. Toxic. Mm. So. Don't uh, try to make it a more positive place Mm. uh, where people can come and express themselves. Mm, I agree completely. Thank you so much, Shahid. All the best. uh, You're with Yerish Tepiarke and we'll catch you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Bye.